Hi everyone. In this activity, I am going to be going over activity 10-4 and 10-5. 10-4 uh, is called Creating an Alert. 10-5 is titled Using Data Manager. Uh, I was just going to jump straight to 10-5 using Data Manager, but that builds on what we do in 10-4. So we're going to do 10-4 first and roll straight into 10-5. Um, both of these are from the MCTS Guide to Microsoft Windows 7. We're starting on page 477 in my edition of the book. So activity 10.4, creating an alert. We'll do that first. We need to open the performance monitor. And we want to go to our data collector sets, user defined. Here's the one we made in our last activity, but we're going to create a new set. We're going to go ahead and title it trigger CPU and disk logging and create it manually and hit next. Oh. We want to do a performance counter alert. Sorry, not the checkbox, the radio button, performance counter alert. Hit next. We want to add a counter for this. We want to expand on physical disk and select percent disk time and tell it to add that in and then we want to hit OK um, down here we want our limit to say 1, alert when 50 sorry, there we go, limit should say 50, alert when it is above 50 percent and then we want to hit next We want to go ahead and select Open Properties for this data collector set and leave Run as Default and hit Finish. And this will automatically launch the properties for this set. In the Schedule tab, we want to click Add. And so its default is to run every day. So we'll go ahead and do that. Defaults, all seven days of the week. And then we want to come over to the Stop Condition tab. And so we don't have a duration on this. It's not going to run for a set amount of days or a set amount of time or anything. It's just going to keep going. So we'll go OK. And then in the left pane, we want to click on our new set. expand this a little bit. There we go. So we expand it and select it in the left pane, not the center pane. We want to right click on the data collector, the O1, and go to properties. Um, if you didn't get this changed earlier, this might still show a limit of 1. Make sure you change it to 50. Um, sometimes it doesn't save it properly, so we just want to verify that. We want to do the alert action tab. and start a data collector set drop down menu we want to select trigger CPU and disk logging and then hit OK alright so that completes 10-4 was just to create that set and set it up our next set here, there we are, activity 10-5 using data manager we want to go to the left pane and right click CPU disk logging right click on it and select why am I not seeing data manager, there we go, data manager in the minimum free we should have 2000 megabytes And then in the resource policy, there we are, this drop down. We want to tell it to delete oldest rather than the largest. And then we want to go to the actions tab. 
so we can review everything that's happening here. So we have at four weeks, it'll create a cab and then delete the data to free space. So it'll kind of compress everything. After eight weeks, if it's not used, it'll delete the cab. And after 24 weeks, it'll delete anything. So this third option showing delete for everything. After 24 weeks, it'll delete the log files, the cab files, and the report files. So it'll just clear all of that out. So we'll go ahead and hit apply to make sure that this 2000 gets applied. And then OK or close it. Mine looks like it automatically closed, which is fine. And so it looks like that covers everything from the instruction steps. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Our next video, we'll be looking at 10-7. We may go back in that video as well and look at 10-6. So we'll hit OK to close that and close our performance monitor to end the video. So I will see you all in my next video, Activity 10-7.